Hello, it's been a long time and it's time I updated uh, the YouTube channel and also you, yourself. How are you doing? Um, I hope you're good. I've not done a video recording in some time so I feel a bit awkward here but hey ho, we shall get there. Um, yeah, so basically just an update. Um, Obviously the blog, I'm consistently updating that, not as much as I had been in the past. Uh, so just to summarise, been back home a year from travelling. Uh, obviously we know that for some of us, uh, hot climates are good for the skin. Obviously, mental health, mind, body, all that, it's a, an all-rounder. Uh, so yeah, I did notice when I went travelling and fortunate enough to be in like the hot climates that I was in, hot humid climates that I was that I was in. Uh, yeah, the skin was amazing. Uh, being near the beach, the ocean, salt water, pretty much all decent uh, food as well. As an organic, like which helped as well. But anyway, so I come back home and then I started to flare again. So I thought, oh, yeah, that's the weather. Maybe it's the weather. And then I started looking into, uh, like, obviously, food, diet and exercise. Um, I think a lot of people are, have been talking about how it's your gut and your digestive tract uh, that causes inflammation. If it's out of, out of whack, uh, apparently you've got 80% of your immune system in your gut. So if your gut microbi microbiome is uh, overpopulated with the bad bacteria, then this is what causes inflammation. Now, before I go deeper, I'm not an expert. This is just my own testament. This is just, I've been like a mad scientist uh, experimenting on myself. Um, yes, so don't take any of my advice. This is, this is me just telling you my story. It's up to you whether you want to follow uh, whatever I'm discussing here with you. So yeah, back to what I was talking about. So yeah, the gut and the immune system, digestive tract, etc, etc. I've got some paperwork, some notes here, just so I can keep myself in line. <laughs> I feel so awkward by the way, it's been so long since I've done any sort of recording. So anyway, yeah, so with all that being said, it's the gut that I think, once you get to a certain point in your withdrawal, you'll f it just, you, it's weird how you can just feel you can feel that there's something else not right. Now that's there might be a lot of people who go through withdrawal without changing their diet, without changing any of their routine or that, and they might heal. But for me, I've had to obviously adjust my diet and my my exercise regime, as in starting an exercise regime. It's all about rebooting the body, as, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, now, I'm not 100% healed, but I want to stress that as well. I'm not 100% healed, but I'm definitely, just the, like this last week, I've been feeling uh, as if there's massive healing going on, albeit in these bizarre, strange times that we find ourselves in. And um, obviously, we're on, uh, we're in isolation. I was a, I went back to college to do a course at college, so I was, I'm basically a student. So obviously the colleges are closed, so I've got a bit of time on my hands, and I thought, you know what, this is probably the best time to have that uh, that healing time that I've always wanted to like, tackle, basically. So I just drew up a battle plan, done a bit, bit of research, and mostly intuition as well. I need to say that like. Sometimes it just it's a, it's a nifa and it just comes into my head and go, wow, I'm going to try that out, try on error. Um, so pretty much, 
So that's that out the road. So yeah, I just want to start talking about the protocol that I've been on. So this, today actually, believe it or not, this marks six years and two months into my withdrawal. Um, it's been a long road, but I'm sort of over that sort of victim mentality. Like I've kind of made my peace with it. If it wasn't for withdrawal, I wouldn't be who I'm after today. So in a strange way, I sort of appreciate going through withdrawal, if that makes sense. I don't know. For you, you'll probably go and you're crazy, but that's just my opinion. I went through it and I've changed like everything. My, my psychology, my physiology, just everything. Mindset. But anyway, I'm going off track here. So yeah, just the protocol. I'll just do this quickly. Where are we? Five minutes long, so I'll cup them. See how far we go. Don't want to make this a big long video. So sauerkraut, right? Sauerkraut. Make it yourself. I've made it myself. Uh, this is probiotics. It's very easy to make, honestly. And what I'll do is I'll link uh, the information down the bottom when I've finished this. Just all the links. Pretty much all YouTube as well. Um, yeah, sauerkraut, you just need a mason jar, airtight mason jar. Cabbage, preferably organic if you can get it. For me, I just had to go to the local supermarket. Uh, it's cabbage, salt, and that's it. Cabbage and salt. Um, slice it up really thin. And then you sprinkle some salt on it. One or two tablespoons. It just depends on how much of the cabbage you've got, how much you've cut up. Sprinkle some salt over that and mash it up, bash it up, break it down, leave it for, I leave it for up to an hour and that gets all the water released, the salt draws out the, the moisture, all the water, um, and that's what you're looking for, so yeah, you just, once that's happened, stick it in the, the mason jar, punch it, pl plunge it down, cover it with extra parts of the, the leave, and yeah, just let it ferment, um, leave it in a, like your kitchen and a cupboard in the kitchen and I just left it for between they say up to 20 days so it's really up to you but I've been I've been making making sauerkraut since uh, maybe November uh, yeah so I think the last batch I made I'd left it for 13 days and decided that was enough uh, you just empty it in another container or stick it in the fridge and you're good to go I take Two tablespoons in the morning, two tablespoons uh, in the evening after my meal. And basically, what that does is it's like superpowers for your gut. It gets all the good bacteria uh, in your gut, and that tackles the bad bacteria. It just brings balance, like back to back to sink, back to the factory settings, basically. Um, so that takes care of that. You maybe want to start maybe with a teaspoon, just build up a tolerance and see where you're at. Everyone's different. But I recommend checking that out. As I said, I'll leave a link with the information and you can ha have it a go. Because if you buy the store bought stuff, you don't really know what's in it. Um, it might, yeah, it's just, it's better if you make it because you've got complete confidence in it and you know what's in it. Other thing as well uh, that I got, that I've been experimenting with and I think it's been helping out is marshmallow root extract. It comes in powder form, not capsules. You want it in the powder form, uh, free, free from all the other. You just want pure organic, hundred percent marshmallow root. I got mine from eBay. Uh, sounds like India, so I had to wait a couple of weeks for it to get delivered. But it's legit. I've checked out the company. I think it's a Canadian company who are in India, and that's where they're getting their marshmallow root. And lo and behold, I got it from eBay. And I'll put the link there. So what the, the marshmallow root does, um, it basically, you take the powder and it coats your digestive tract. Think of it as like, your, so they say leaky gut as well. This is what I meant, leaky gut with the digestive tract. Apparently this puts like a fine film over uh, inside your digestive tract. So if there's any like, leaky gut, any holes in your, permeable holes in your, uh, digestive tract, this sort of fills it in and soothes it at the same time as well 
Um, so yeah, I've been doing that since I want to see maybe the start of the year. Again, you just start start small and work your way up. Um, I think I was taking a teaspoon to start with. Morning and night. Doing that as well. So diet as well. This is the, the, the touchy one. Everybody's different. You're you're all how you react to certain foods. For me, it's been mostly vegetarian that I've stuck to. Now, thankfully, because of what I was doing at college was a professional cookery course, so that's definitely helped me out learning some of the tricks of the trade, shall we say. Um, yeah, mostly veggies, but I will have eggs and I will have fish, so I think that's vegetarian. But I hate labels, so I just eat what I want, you know, but no meat, because the reason why, again, it's we don't know what's in the meat hormones, uh, antibiotics, etc., and that gets your uh, your digestive, your gut out of sync. It's all to do with the gut, I believe, guys. I think once you get the the gut back to factory settings, that's just when the healing occurs. So, again, I'll leave. Pre go. Diet is pretty much standard. Look. What do I eat a day? It just depends. Wake up in the morning, have uh, oatmeal with raisins, banana sometimes chopped up, um, excuse the noise, with some honey, I get nice uh, organic honey as well, um, which has not been pasteurised or anything like that, it's got all the good bacteria in it, it's all good, it's really sweet and tasty as well. Um, I have a green tea as well with some lemon and honey usually have that before I have the, the oatmeal, sorry guys, just to get, as soon as I wake up that's what I do, that gets, I think that just gets the system all up and running and your digestive system ready for, uh, for food, for calorie intake. So I have the porridge and lunch, uh, mostly just fried rice, fried rice and veggies, uh, started making chickpea curries as well, I'm getting all sorts of like cashews in there. Uh, for dessert, I'll have dark chocolate. Maybe don't want to. See, this is just what I'm eating. My, I think my, my digestive tract can handle it. So I'll have some dark chocolate cut up with. Uh, what have we got? What's, what do we take? Almonds. Um, what other stuff? We've got walnuts. Uh, just chop all them up. Dark chocolate, honey. Lovely. Nice, get some nice dark chocolate, 85% dark, that's the one I get, uh, just from the supermarket here in Scotland. Um, yep, and, the, and again, having salad, a lot of salads as well, and it's weird because your taste buds start to, you need to cut out all the crap basically as well, it's hard to start with, but once you start eating all these foods, your taste buds sort of, you crave like salads and stuff like that. Um, and I'm adding a lot of seeds, nuts to the salads, and also when I'm cooking, I use ghee. You go to any Indian supermarket, you can find ghee. Uh, basically, it's it's butter, it's fat without the milk solids, which makes it just fat. And I just use that every time I cook instead of oils. I think it's using Ayurvedic medicine, the ghee. So yeah, it's really good for you as well. Um, plenty of water, as you know. You should be drinking plenty of water. And also intermittent fasting. I've just been doing. I done. I done two days last week, and I done one yesterday for just a full day, and then broke that this morning. And during the fast, it's just water fasting, obviously, but you feel amazing. Like just get so much clarity. Again, it's all to do with the di you're giving the digestive system a, a rest. Um, Cause you think about it, I mean, it, you, you wouldn't want your car running 24 hours a day. It needs to, it needs a rest, or else it's going to obviously not like to work. So it's, it's kind of like the analogy I'm using for your digestive tract. So we need to give it a rest. We're not told this, but yeah, you develop discipline once you do it a lot more. It can be quite overwhelming and difficult to begin with, but you just ease yourself into it. Um, other things as well, I've done a coffee enema for the first time, 
just bought a kit offline, bought some nice uh, coffee online again, organic, that's the word of the day, sick of hearing that, but it's just the way to go, peace of mind, you know what's in it, you know it's good for you. It's coffee enemas, which was, yeah, again, I'll, I'll link the, the details for that. Um, it was an interesting, it was like a rite of passage, and also when I'm doing pooping, I'm squatting, because when we're sitting down, you're, you're not getting the right angle way for the poop to come out. Sexy subject, I know. But if you squat, it's more naturally. It's shoot straight down rather than it's a kink when you're sitting down, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Uh, and exercise, this is a big one, obviously because of the, the situation, just the current situation we're all going through. I've been going out... Uh, uh, pretty much starting since the new year, I began walking up to three mile, three and a half mile a day. I went down one of my local parks, which I'm fortunate enough to live nearby. Beautiful bit. Um, it's got a nice, nice bit of forest. You can hear the birds singing when you walk, and there's a lot of wildlife. And it's just, it's a nice place. Everybody, you walk around, everyone says hi, and it's just a nice place. Um, so yeah, just start walking. Eventually, you're like, right, okay, let's start jogging. Eventually, you start jogging, and then, yeah, I mean, just been going for a jog, you're sweating, you're getting everything's moving, the lymphatic system. Um, but, yeah, I'm not what to boast of, you know, but jogging, definitely. I'm up to, I'm doing seven mile now, and it's about an hour. Um, 7.36 mile in about an hour, my best time is just over an hour, which is good for me because I'm just starting to build it up. Uh, so yeah, exercise and then obviously uh, some weights, I've got to manage to get some weights as well. I was using water bottles, like packets of water bottles at six and then my father managed to give me some free weights, so I've been doing that as well and then watching, there's a lot of good information on YouTube that you can work out without weights, calisthenics as well, just getting the body moving, this is what we need to do, get out, if the sun's shining, get out there and get the natural vitamin D, it all helps, it's all helping, um, as far as showers, I noticed, I was showering, so I was doing the jog, uh, so it was one day on, one day off, and I was showering after every time I was doing that, but I was noticed that Maybe the next day my skin was a bit dry, yeah. so it's a bit gross. But what I, what I've been doing recently is, is after my jog, I've not I've not went for a shower. Uh, I'm just yeah, it's it seems to be working. My skin is not as inflamed. Uh, I don't have a partner, girlfriend to, to t smell me and go, oh, you're gross. But to be honest with you, because of the diet, I'm not really. The BO is not, I don't have any BO, I smell, I can't even smell it. Maybe it's just because I'm used to my smell, I don't know, but I'm not getting uh, any bad BO or that, and I put that, contribute that to the diet. So that's pretty much, that's just the little protocol of what I'm doing. Uh, sauerkraut, make it yourself, definitely, it's really good, it's tasty as well. Just think it as your medicine, like once in the morning and once at night. Marshmallow root extract has to be the powder form, not capsules. Again, free from, organic, the word of the day, diet. Uh, and listen, uh, some days there's a chip shop around the corner. I'll get a bit of fish, no chips, just some fish. Lovely, that does it. Squeeze some lemon on it. Perfecto. Uh, and as I said, taste buds are salads get some seeds in there, some nice olive oil, perfect, I'm getting results, cook, if you've got to cook, use ghee instead of oils, I know olive oils will look for a dressing for salad, but I think cooking it's a different, it's a different ball game, so get the, get the old ghee butter, drink plenty of water, fluids, maybe I think up to three coffee enemas um, a year, now when I done it last week, I done one, then I done another one, and guys, when I went to the toilet, wow, it was like, 
it was like a, yeah, you can imagine it wasn't that nice, but I felt very light after it, and I just, I just fasted for the rest of that day, because obviously your gallbladder and stuff like that, gallbladder, pardon my French, because uh, that's, that's basically what happens, it just, you feel it going, it squirts, and it's letting out all the, the toxins in that, so yeah, it was interesting, you could hear it go, make this noise, and then when you go to the bathroom and do your business, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just like you've unblocked the sink, basically. Um, intermittent fasting as well. Give it a go, see what you think. Exercise. Start with walking, get yourself out there moving. Build up to a jog. And then take it from there. If you're really serious about the, the jogging, it's like a drug to me now. I haven't been overtaken by it. I got myself a heart rate monitor, just a cheap easy one, does what it says in the tin, um, and just working, yeah, just, today was the first day I'd done it, you, you go 140, don't want to go over that, and you're building up your athletic endurance, I don't want to bore you, I'll talk about that in another video, because we're only, that's just the first week of doing the old heart rate, um, but exercise is important, diet, obviously, and I can't stress enough sauerkraut. And yeah, just be kind to yourself. You know, this it's a hard thing that you're you're doing. And there's going to be ups and downs, but I believe that every disease can be healed. And it's that old cliche: food is a medicine, and it really is what you put in your body, your environment, uh, toxins. You need to get the body back to factory settings. I think if there's anything else that I've missed out. Oh yes, when I do, it's really just my, my face and my hands that are still troublesome. So I'll just use shea butter. That's the only thing that I'll put on my skin. Anything you put on your body, if you can't eat it, shouldn't be anywhere near your body. This is why everybody's getting allergies and all these diseases, because the environment we're using, like washing, like when you do your dishes, just use hot water, a bit of like, uh, vinegar. Instead, you've got this green stuff. I mean, would you drink that washing liquid? No, you wouldn't. So, think about that. Like, it shouldn't be anywhere near your body if you can't eat it because the skin is the largest organ, as you know, and anything you put on it, it absorbs. And I'm talking about aftershave, perfume. If you're going to do it, spray it on your clothes. Hold your breath. <gasps> spray it on your clothes. Uh, yeah, as I said, I want to stress that as well. If you can't eat it, it shouldn't be anywhere near your body. Uh, yeah, so the gut, guys, the gut is what it's all about. You've probably heard that a million times. And if you're like me and you've got a bit of time in your hands, this is probably the best time to do it if you're not a key worker. Uh, yeah. So that's that. So that's pretty much that. You know, 20 odd minutes. Didn't want it to be that long. I hope you've understood my accent. Leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you, you think. But yeah, I'm doing I'm doing really well and I hopefully this encourages you or give you some motivation to yeah, get over the hump because for me I, re I reached a stagnant phase. But when I was away travelling and uh, obviously when I said you can check the blog out, I've updated the blog uh, last year, right at the day for last year. So check the blog out for further resources, do your own research, yeah, doing really well, and you, you could too, I believe this can be, you can get an end to this. So it's exciting times for me, maybe not the right words to say, selfishly it's exciting times, but yeah, obviously with what's going on. It's not ideal, but I assume it's just it's reality, and we need to, need to get on with it. So yeah, this is the time, if you've got a bit of free time yourself, I hope this gives you some motivation to 
create a program for yourself, create a protocol and give it a bash, try on error, see how you feel and like I said drop a comment if you if you want me to delve, delve deeper into any of the information I've shared with you. Okay, so I hope you're, you're doing okay out there, it's, it's awkward to record a video but thank you very much for stopping by and take care, big love, keep safe, see you later.